willing. And I'll never say here are three players back to back to back on the top 100 right now from the same high school baseball team. Oh my gosh, can you imagine that staff? You know, imagine your 16-year-old kid coming up and just being scared to death every day. You got to face it. <laughs> I mean, I mean that school's in L.A. All the kids, 15-year-olds in L.A., are crying every time they go to the play. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> that team. Now, the funny part about the 2012 draft was Max Fried was selected with the seventh overall okay. pick. Lucas Giolito went 16th overall, and in 2014, Jack Flaherty was selected with the 34th overall pick. On our list, going into the 2021 season, it's Flaherty closer to number one than Giolito, than mm. Freed. It really is interesting. Uh, we're, we can talk about Flaherty in a minute. He slides on this list. I don't know if that's okay. But Freed and Giolito are emerging into what their respective teams believe they would be when they draft them so high. They really have. I'm not usually a guy who likes to talk about Harvard guys, but Harvard-Westlake, I'm fine. <laughs> when you look at Max Freed, the thing you get is athleticism. You don't usually say that about every pitcher, but he is a great athlete. Now, he brings all that you want in a pitcher uh, with his physical gifts. A guy that can throw 95 plus. He's got that little cut fastball that he can throw. He's got the overhand curveball that at times reminds me of a young Kershaw. And like I said, that 95 mile an hour. What I like about him also, he's been a winner since day one coming to the major leagues. He's an amazing competitor, whether he's at the plate, but especially when he's on the mound. And he's going to really make it tough. Now look at the dispersion of his pitches. Sean, this is what you got to cover wow. when you're at the wow. plate against Max Free. Now things have not always come easily for Lucas Giolito. He came up as a number one pick for the Washington Nationals and really couldn't find his way. Then traded with Ronaldo Lopez and Dane Dunning over to the Chicago White Sox. He got 10 wins, but his ERA was over six. So he really struggled, but with hard work and he's a real intelligent pitcher, he really got that two pitch mix of fastball and changeup. And yes, he can throw that uh, changeup up in the strike zone, sprinkles in an occasional uh, breaking ball. But the no hitter from last year against Pittsburgh will be something he will always remember. Remember in the postseason, he took a no hitter into the seventh inning in the post. That's the last out. And Giolito is a guy that's made himself from a number one pick. You weren't sure if he was going to have that arc of a number one pick got beat down, mm -hmm. beat down to the bottom and worked his way back where he's one of the best uh, starters on the Chicago. Now he was drafted by the Washington.